Welcome back everyone to Mozzie's Place, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Last time, we got the shrine and headed up here to rescue Yunobo and continue on the plot for Goron City. This time, I'm taking a bit of a sidetrack to ride on a minecart. And to see where this takes us. Spoiler warning, it's... this isn't our final destination for today. Now this is some place we can run around and explore a little bit. But there's not really anything terribly exciting here. I'll do a quick run around just to be sure. Stone Talus to deal with. Yep. Igneo Talus, rather. Now. Well, I know how to deal with you. Let's put the Cobble Crusher to work. that thing out. I have a ready supply of opals now. Uh, and mark that down. Yep, that's about as far as this is going to take me, so... Let's go ahead and head on back, shall we? Uh, we're back here. You may notice that the minecart's gone. You might think that's going to be a problem, but not so much. Just jump on here. And continue along. Once again, there's some place we can run off to there if we really wanted to. But what we're here for is this right here. Now that particular path is going to take us out to the edge of the Elden Volcano. 
Uh, there is a bunch of stuff we can do over there. But... Not really anything terribly plot-related. Uh, yes, now this one is interesting. You definitely don't want to go... Jumping off the sides here. No siree. Now. I do not currently have a torch. So I'll go ahead and toss this out. Now, first thing I'm going to do. I'm going to use these to get over here and grab what's in the chest. It gives me another royal bow. That's a very nice thing to find. Just head down here. And fail. Let's try that again, shall we? I got the chest, I can just line these right up and make it a lot more straightforward a process to get up here. But this is where it gets interesting. You see, we need to make our way all the way up to there. Lighting torches along the way. The first segment, really straightforward. This segment, not so much. You have to make it past the uh, spills of water, which will put the torch out if you are not careful. To make sure we light that up, which brings that up. Now, fortunately, it's a lot more straightforward getting out than it is getting in. So, up to here. And get out of the way. Yeah, they really like throwing some nasty stuff at you in here. The last leg of the journey. <laughs> Almost the last leg. Don't want to waste that. And there you have it. Bit tricky to parry those, but managed to make it work. The Great Flame Blade. Again, not my favorite type of weapon. Just like the Flame Blade I got previously, that sets stuff on fire. However, 
that's a two-handed weapon instead of one-handed weapon, so... Uh, if you like that fighting style, go for it, but it's not my favorite. Uh, all that's taken care of, I can just light this right up. Head through here. But we're not done yet. No, still have... A... Couple puzzles left to do. I am going to need to do is freeze that and light these in the time it takes for it to reset. Now this is even trickier. So what I need to do is line up my shot to light both of these in a very short time frame. So I'm going to waste a lot of arrows doing this. There we go. And that gives me a way through, but because it relies on the air current, I need to light that torch up there before I head over. Now, that's out of the way. Like that. Freeze. And get that over as fast as I can. Yeah, this is definitely one of the more involved the shrines in the game. this over here now. We can head down here. Then take the easy way through. Should have lit that first. Now this gets interesting. But a little closer. I don't quite remember exactly how I managed to do this the first time, but essentially. You need to light all of these uh, torches at exactly the same time. <laughs> Almost got it. Going to get this eventually. There we go. 
Barely got it in time. But, since I did get it, that's all she wrote. that right out of the way. Now we're more than ready to head back here and continue on with the main plot line. It's the Tiny Traveler! You know about telling me all about how you helped him, brother? Here's a reward for ya. I think it's like you need this sort of thing, right? Uh, more fireproof elixirs. Nah, no, I'm fine. Okay then, well I took my painkiller, so I guess it's time to meet up with Yonobo. I mean no disres disrespect to Daruk's legacy, but if I'm not there to give that Rudania a good walloping... Daruk? Are you really telling me you don't know about Daruk, the Goron Champion? See that statue up there? That's Daruk. I'm not sure I'd call that a statue so much as a mountain face, but still. It's a nice resemblance. Champions know they better eat their gravel if they want to keep up with the roof. Speaking of which, can you believe this cue? Just look at all those delectable rocks sprinkled on those mountains. Mighty tasty. I may not know a whole lot about this calamity Ganon thing, but mark my words, I'll protect this land of ours to the death. Right, little guy? <laughs> <laughs> hey, by the way, congrats on becoming the princess's appointed knight. That's a really big deal, protecting the king's daughter. <laughs> no pressure. Seriously, though, the princess is a strong personality. So strong, she can't quite see the range for the peaks. Remember that, and you'll be fine. Huh? What the? <laughs> All right. So what was I saying? That was a little strange. As far as I know, Death Mountain has been quiet for decades. But if the mountain is shivering enough to send down a bunch of boulders that size, then never mind. Forget I said anything. <laughs> yeah, Volcano the spewing out that much lava is not exactly <clears throat> quiet. What's gotten into you? I didn't sure are strange. Anyways, you know Bo is actually a descendant of the great Daruk. That's why that slacker can even use Daruk's protection. He uses it to protect himself when he fire it at Rudania. That's the only way we can chase that blasted beast away. You have no choice because normal cannonballs are no good against him. Alright, that's enough out of me. Time to go drive off Rudania. Uh, ow, 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 ow. Are you okay? 
Oh yeah, just Peachy, dumb traveler. Of course I'm not okay. Oh, oh, I'm afraid I won't be going anywhere today. I hate to put you on the spot, but can you please go tell Yunobo that I'm gonna have to cancel for today? You should be at Elden Bridge. Yeah, that is indeed the next bit of the journey, and but I always get lost trying to get there. But, that's going to be a trial for tomorrow. Until then, uh, Magius out.